Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Another Only the Strong Education Series. And today we are talking about three reasons why your deadlift sucks. So we're going to jump right in because I got a lot to say today. Okay. The first reason, lose your weight belt. I cannot stand how many people I see on social media now with weight belts tied up so tight like a corset and they're lifting deadlifts with rainbow backs. What's a rainbow back? It's that McDonald's looking arch that looks absolutely outrageous. So uh, now if we're talking about high level competition, we're talking about hitting a PR, you know, we're hitting a, a world record, hitting a country record, whatever you're going to be doing, that's a little bit different. But if you're just deadlifting in your everyday gym and you can't keep some form of a neutral spine, it may be because your weight belt is doing a little bit too much for you. Remember, your weight belt is supposed to help you brace a little bit more effectively so that you can be more efficient in your movement and less effective in terms of breaking down your back. Now, if you cannot brace your abdominals uh, in your core, your abdominals in your core, if you can't brace your abdominals in your back at the same time, uh, you can't activate your transverse abdominus, it is not going to work effectively. Keep this in mind. Get rid of your weight belt. Don't worry. Drop your weight. Focus on engaging your core, your midline, and you will see your deadlift spike through the roof. Second point, time your breathing. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody who's about to, you know, hit a PR in their deadlift and their breathing's all screwed up. You'll see it there <laughs> and they're about to lift and nothing's happening. And the reason why is simple, guys, in correlation with that first point, in order for you to brace effectively, you need to breathe effectively as well. You shouldn't be breathing in the middle of your lift. You shouldn't be breathing all over the place willy-nilly. This is not a sprint. The deadlift is an explosive power movement for the most part, depending on what type of weight you're looking at. Unless you're up in a, a volume phase where you're just hitting 10, 15, 20 reps, your breathing needs to become concise and it needs to be timed with your bracing. Think about when you breathe. It should never happen between the lift. It can definitely happen at the top or at the bottom, but it needs to be timed succinctly. And even more important than that, guys, 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 do not let your entire breath go when you hit the ground. You'll see it all the time. People will get to the ground and... <sighs> and they're completely soft and then they, and they try to go at it again. Come on, your, your, your lungs are a muscle. They must work in order to get air in. So if you continue to let air out, bring air in, it is actually fatiguing for you to even do that, much less lift 200 pounds of weight. So consider your timing of your breath. It is very important. Lastly, 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 aggression. I tell anyone I've ever worked with, Personally, you need to lift your first set like it's going to be your last set. Too often you see these warm-up sets and people are and they're, you know, they're lifting casually like it ain't no thing. You need to approach your warm-up sets like a work set. They call it a work set for that reason. You need to understand that in order for you to see the results in six sets from now, you need to have that same intensity of mindset. This is not one of those slap you on the back, scream, smelling salt type of moments. No. It is get yourself in the zone. Understand when you get under the bar, you're here to lift. You're here to make progress. If you don't set yourself up for those, those, uh, those, those four mount and those, those foregone conclusions of wins, you will not be able to get to where you want to go. Keep that in your mind. Underline it. And every time you hit your lifts, whether it's a deadlift, a squat, or a bench press, make sure you have the right intensity and aggression. So just to recap from the top, lose your weight belt, focus on bracing. What that is all about, feeling the bracing, expanding your diaphragm, time your breathing, get the air in where you need it, and bring the aggression every single time. It's been another great Only the Strong Education series. Guys, if there's anything that you want to see coming up, feel free to drop me a little message on the page down here. Uh, or feel free to shoot me an email, info at thestrong.ca, and we'll definitely take it over for you and give you as much information as we can. Love you all. We appreciate it. If you have not gone to check out the new Games Ready series, go check that out. It is an amazing, amazing series, www.thestrong.ca. Uh, there will be a brand new one on Saturday, and we will see you then. Have a great day.